now we're gonna take our big sheet of paper and we're gonna fold it in half like a book, corner to corner, give it a fold. Give a good rub on that, on that middle crease. Then I'm gonna open it back up and lay it flat. Now what I need to do is I need to transfer my best butterfly drawing to this big sheet of paper. But here's the best part. You really only have to draw half of the butterfly. And I'll show you why a little bit later, because we're gonna talk about symmetry, things being the same on both sides. Now it might be hard to just draw half of the body and the head of the insect. So you might wanna think about drawing the entire head and the entire body. But if you're gonna do that, your body has to be right on the center of your crease line, of your folded line here, right on the center. For example, I'm gonna be drawing the English comma. So I'm gonna start about here and I'm gonna bring his wide body all the way up. So it's kind of like an oval with a pointed bottom. Then the English comma has kind of a oval head turned on its side with this part that comes out the front. Now I'm getting off of my crease line a little bit. That's okay, it'll work out just fine. But remember, since I'm only drawing half of my butterfly, I only have to draw one antenna if I want. I don't have to do the other one if I don't want to, okay? Now I'm gonna work on my drawing, but I'm only gonna be drawing the wings on this side of the paper. I don't have to worry about this side. If you wanna draw yours on the right, that's okay, but I'm gonna do mine on the left. Hi friends, if you find it too hard to only draw half of a butterfly and you wanna draw the whole thing, that's okay too. Just when you're using your black glue, you only need to do one half of the paper. But if you wanna draw both sides and choose the one that turns out the best, that's a good way to do it too. Next, what I'm going to do, now that I have half of my butterfly drawn, I'm gonna take my black glue as well as some white glue. Now, any spots on my butterfly that I want to stay white, I can cover those areas with my white glue. So for example, I have some very light spots on my butterfly as well as some black ones. So I'm gonna put little blobs of glue on those white spots. I'm gonna make sure I don't use too much and I'm only going on the areas that I want to stay white, like the white of the paper. Mm -hmm. there's other areas that I want to stay white as well, I should add that. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit all the way around the edges. And don't worry if yours isn't touching the lines exactly, it'll be all right. Okay, now I'm gonna close my glue bottle top, making sure that the orange part is touching the white cap. Now I'm gonna use my black glue for any spots that I want black and to outline my butterfly. I'm turning the orange to make space between the orange cap and the white cap to make sure it's open. And I'm gonna pick off any glue that might be dried on top. Now I'm gonna use my black glue. And remember, I don't have to do this side. I'm only doing what's on this half of the fold. So I'm gonna trace around with my glue bottle just on this half of my paper. And if I make a mistake, that's okay. We can make it work, we're artists. And nothing is going to be perfect. Whoops, that's okay. I'm gonna go all the way around my butterfly like this, making sure I'm not making big puddles, I'm drawing a line with my glue. Good. 
Can you do his antenna now, Dottie? It got some cool right there. Yep, right there is his antenna. So I had a little technical difficulties with my partner here, but so I just add a little bit more glue on mine and I'm going to very carefully now that I have half of my butterfly drawn fold my paper in half. I'm just going to put my fingers on the crease here, rub along that crease. Hang on a second, Dottie. We'll do your paper in one second. See, I'm going to give this a little rub. Rub, rub, rub. Nice and gentle. I don't have to push real hard, but I do want to go on my whole piece of paper just to make sure that both sides turn out exactly the same. And there I have my beautiful butterfly. Here's the other one that I had started before. And here's this one. Now I actually have two beautiful butterflies. Mm. If you'd like to try to make more than one, you're welcome to. But for this project, we only need one. <gasps> what does it look like? <gasps> wow, Donnie, look at your butterfly. Is it gonna fly? 